everyone good evening so i hope you guys are doing well and uh, so today today topic is today's topic is declare index so just be with me for 10 15 minutes and we'll learn end to end how we can configure the declare index we'll also understand what is declare index okay so this so this is one of the very important topic and you should definitely uh, know this topic because wherever you'll go for your interview okay you will face these questions okay all which because people will ask these questions definitely they will not ask these questions directly that what is declare index but they will ask they will give some scenario and the answer for these questions will be uh, an answer for that questions will be de definitely declare index so i'll, I'll give some um, uh, sample example also that how they will uh, ask the questions okay and where you have to give the answers for declare index okay so let's first understand the declare what is declare index okay so declare index this is little different than pega uh, sorry uh, database declare index okay so this we usually use for reporting purpose okay so you can see that indexing can improve database performance and facilitate uh, reporting okay so let's let's understand it how what is the usage okay so i have roughly uh, like uh, I have roughly like draw some like uh, rough diagram here to explain you okay so let's say that uh, in your team your manager asked that okay give uh, like let's collect a list of all uh, uh, like uh, holidays for all employee okay and create a request in pega in one request only in that in that uh, uh, in pega okay you don't have to create many requests collect all the details all employee leave details and create one request so let's say we created a leave, leave request one leave one and in that okay we created in that uh, when when we implemented that applications that applications is asking okay enter that all employee leave details so you have entered for 10 employee okay so now that what will happen that will go in a blob okay so because employee is a page list property employee list is a page list property okay so here you can consider for page or page list both okay so now you store that one okay and then done okay you created a request leave uh, that request got approved okay done everything is done okay now after 10 days okay you, uh, that leave request is approved okay so everyone everyone's leaves is recorded to that pega system now after 10 days your manager is asking and saying that okay give me uh, the report okay that who is going on what date leave okay so now that employee list okay like employee list for each employee you have stored that leave details and employee details in a page list property and that is there in a blob so you cannot give that details easily because that is there in blobs so here the problem for the reporting okay so to do the reporting what what is the two options okay the one option is that for each employee you can loop and save all entries to a separate database table you can create employee leave details tables and save it okay so this will be procedurally okay but the problem is if you do procedurally what will happen whenever any leave request is getting added let's say that that you have added 10 now if you want to modify reopen that case and want to mod want to modify okay if you have more you want to add for few more employees then you need to again uh, like you need to save those new ones okay if you want to update then again you have to write the code for update so basically you have to write a separate code for create update or delete okay so to handle these things pega have come up with this declare index okay and declare index will automatically do all those things and inserts this data so each each employee so you can see that here we have employee list and then what will happen this will get transformed like this and this all columns will be stored in a separate database table where where these columns will be exposed so from that table we can easily pull the report okay so i hope this this gives you some basics idea let's understand the implementations then we'll also see that but before going for implementations i'll explain you that out of the box also pega gives us some declare index which we use each and every day but maybe uh, you are not aware as of now okay so that could be one of the things or if you know then that's fine so i'll where we can find the declare index so we have to go to records a sysadmin and declare index okay so if you see here we have a few declare index okay so you can see that here the skills is one of them so i'll explain you uh, this this is skills one okay so you can see that okay in operator id whenever we add any skills okay then what will happen okay so here if you see let me add one okay english okay so english is already there here now if i come to operator id system admin operator id here we have a page list property py skills inside that one we have one skills so now if someone is asking and saying me okay give me 
all operators skills okay so then it's very difficult if you go to operator table and try to fetch it because this is there in blog okay so we cannot i cannot extract from this table easily okay so if i open this data admin operator id let me open that class data admin operator id class so if i show you this is map to pr underscore operators so pr underscore operator so if someone is asking me give me uh, uh, all the skills okay which this operator have author at the rate loans have okay so let's say it has two skills okay and this rating so if someone is asking me this reporting we won't be able to do it very easily because this is stored in a blob okay inside that py skills okay it's a blob column now so the what is the solution so the solution is we can create a separate database table okay or the declare index table from okay and in that one these columns will be exposed okay so that is where this declare index will be used and the declare the the main benefit of declare index is that it will it will automatically delete update okay and then create okay so let's see that okay so now i'll go ahead and say declare underscore skills so this is declare underscore operator skills so this is the table so you can see that okay for author underscore loan we have a two skills so we have a two here now if i go here and remove one of them okay and just save it so you can see that i'm saving this operator id instance table okay but this this is getting updated in operator skill see one got removed now if i just go and again delete one one more then this is gone okay so we we have not written any explicit code okay so pega declare index is automatically doing that okay whenever we are taking actions on the main things or the primary things primary case or the primary instance this is getting updated so i hope you understood it right right so now we'll implement that also but before that i'll explain you one more thing some of the times what happens in our requirement so now the question is what what kind of a questions you'll get in interview so they will say that okay you have a page list something like that okay they'll give an example that you have employee list or something and now you want to do a reporting how you'll do that so the answer is you need to say that i'll create a declare index okay and from declare index i'll do the reporting okay so because if i show you here i'll add again two more so english and french come here okay see here so now here okay if someone is asking we can easily give the reporting right so for author at the rate at the author at the rate loans we have this uh, if i open this one we'll find that okay we have this skills so those attributes are exposed here okay so answer you have to give declare index now one more thing is that sometimes we need few operator or uh, sorry few attributes in our data uh, operator id okay so operator on operators okay so most of the times okay what junior developer does is they will go and expose in operator at tables pr underscore operators table no that is not the right way we can we can expose that underscore p underscore in, sorry index underscore operator okay so in this table we can expose and use that okay so that is just additional uh, details which i am giving you okay so this is like again if i do a text connectivity pr underscore index underscore operator so if you want to expose any new attribute under operator table don't do it in that uh, pr underscore operator do it in index table now let's go and try to implement that okay so for that one to learn that i have created some business case okay so let me show you so the business case is let's say that you want to raise a loan request and then on the first page you filled that requester details and in the second page okay we have a page list okay and in that one we are filling that okay i need these kind of a loans okay so you can see that i have given an options so that we can add delete or update okay so all things we can do so here that let's say home loan is there and then uh, here i'll select vehicle okay so we have all type of loan okay so now we have an add and options and delete also if i go and and check that py work page inside py work page we'll find that that loan details is there in page list property so now if someone is asking me and saying that okay give me all that loan details underscore and un, under this case okay i won't be able to give it easily using this page list okay so for that one we need to write some custom code okay so for to do that what we can do we can create a separate table index underscore loan details something like that okay and then uh, 
Pega will automatically save the data into that class. So let's do that. So first, what we need, okay, so the first things, okay, to create a declare index, we need a declare index class, okay. So to do that, what we can simply go, we can open any in, a declare index, uh, sorry, index class, index class, and then uh, save as this class. And sorry if I have told declare index, uh, sorry, declare trigger, then just ignore that uh, we are talking about uh, index, okay. So just open this class index underscore operator and save as this class. So simply save as this and here I'll give index underscore loan details. Okay, and then here we'll say loan detail index, something like that. Let's create it create the class just update the versions that in which versions we are doing just save it so now you can see that we created a class okay pr underscore index underscore loan details and something pega which added okay now that's fine we got a table next thing is that okay we want to expose that we want to map that so what we want to save into this class loan details and then home loan type okay loan type sorry loan details and then loan amount and loan type note it's it's up to you okay that let's say in that page list okay in one of the page list you have a 10 attributes but you want to save only you want to expose only five so you can expose only five okay so so let's say in this one we, we just want to expose two only loan amount and loan type so for that what we can do now we can go to that class okay loan details class in this class we have to create two attributes so let's do that okay we need those two attributes so create a property so here I'll say loan amount create just change it to decimal and then second one is loan type loan type. One more things which we have to do now if I refresh we'll, we got those two attributes we need to expose this two property okay so we have the table we created these attributes so pega automatically when we created its index class pega automatically have added few attributes okay now we have to add our attributes also so for that what we have to do we have to optimize this attribute these two opti uh, attribute optimize means we have to create a columns in the table okay so let's do that so how we can do right click that and then click optimize for reporting so click next next and then finish it so we'll do for both so we did for loan amount and then uh, loan type and finish it so what we did we created an index class we created attribute inside that index class now we'll create the index okay so we'll here say we create so to create index also the, the easy way is just open any existing one and save as that so let's say i open that work party where i one i'll just save as this one okay so so the class will be the loan details class loan request class because our that loan request uh, details property is there in this class okay so i'll say loan details I, we have to just keep some name loan details so this will be our class work class and then create here now we have to select the property which property the loan details property because on this one only we want to create so whenever any changes will happen to this page list we want to uh, take all those data and save it to this table okay this index table so now i'll open this one and i'll copy the class here so the same class we have to give here and then in in place of index class we have to give this class just save it so when we'll try to save it it's asking for parenthesis so that we have to do after that also will face some issue so the issue which we are facing because this attribute doesn't belongs to this classes so now i'll simply add that so here we have to give the source and the destination so the source from the page list and then destination is that index class now done okay so what to create index 
uh, what we did okay we created an index class and then we created uh, index attributes uh, i mean like inside that attributes what we want to expose or what uh, details we want to store so we created those app property and then we optimized those property and then we created a in declare underscore ind uh, declare index and in that index to configure source source page or page list we have to give the page list name and then the same class okay the page list belongs to that class we have to give and then index class and then we have to map source and then destinations property now we are done now let's test it okay so to test it what we'll do okay we don't have to submit just we have to click on save okay so here i'll just click on save now let's see that this index so it's not coming let's create a new request and see that so i'll just see that so i'll put 100 home loan 300 education loan and then 400 vehicle click on save refresh this one see we got three so you can see that 1107 we created that and we got it now if i go here and and add one more that will also come just yes, i have to what i have to do save the main class see i'm i'm changing the on the main main case okay see if i come here and remove one okay i'll delete one and just save it we got again from four to three okay if i update then also it will get reflected okay so the whatever the things which we are doing we are taking actions and then these things is getting updated here so what will happen automatically uh, this these attributes okay loan amount and loan type is getting saved to this table so we can easily extract this uh, uh, from this table we can easily give, uh, fetch a report okay so let's say i'll create another request also so this time i'll select let's say 5000 4000 and then 9000 i'll just say home education and then save it something like that so now if i come here and refresh so we got this one so now if someone is asking and asking uh, some like someone is asking and asking you to give a report okay uh, on uh, like of the loan details then you can easily create a, a report definitions on this class and then you'll be able to give the report but if you're giving the reports from this one it's it's very difficult because see the data is there in page list okay see it's there in page list so we cannot do that okay but if we create a report definitions in this class we'll be able to do it easily so i'll show you so let's create a report definition create report definition then just say loan details create and then we have to add ex so this is that okay if i sh if you see here okay so this is that first columns which is storing that the main case okay from where we are updating so this is like the uh, at, uh case okay our work object uh fj dynasty key and that property name is we can see here okay so this if you see why i asked you to save as this class because this uh, the key is fixed okay so we have to use this key only when we're creating a declare index so it's better if you just save as existing one or you can if you're doing manually then you have to add this one so this is the like the uh, handle of that referencing rule referencing rule means from where we are taking an actions okay so here we are taking actions on this uh, our case okay so that we have to refer so here i'll just refer this one so which will give me that case id and then two more attribute loan amount and the loan type if i just save and run we can add the conditions also if you have any condition see we got the data so if anyone is asking we can simply from this table we can give the data okay but from this one from the case we cannot do that okay same case applies for the work operator one and that is where i told if you want to expose any columns okay expose into index underscore operator not into the peer underscore operator or data admin operator id class okay so let's recap quickly that uh, the usage is whenever like so the first thing is that what is the usage the usage is whenever we have any object okay and that is stored in blob 
okay and if you if we think that in a future we'll we have to do some reporting on that one so in that case we can go for declare index and then uh, to create a declare index what all things we need okay so the first thing we need is the declare index class how we can create simply we can go uh, type index underscore and select any class so if you type an index underscore in class explorer you will see that uh, app explorer in classes if you type index underscore then you'll get index in sorry index and dash then you'll get index uh, uh, operators and operator skills class so select any class okay open this class and then save as this class okay so first things you got the class the, the second thing is that you need to create the, all those attributes whatever you want to expose and then after creating those attributes you need to expose that so exposing means you have to optimize so simply right click on those attributes and optimize it okay so that is the second thing which you have to do so here uh, loan details so simply optimize it by right clicking say here optimize for reporting options is coming and the third things which you have to do is we have to create a declare index and declare index so to create a declare index just open any existing one and save as that one and in source okay let me open the one which we have created just now refresh So in source we have to give our page list or page property and then in source page context class we have to give uh, the page list or the page uh, class okay so here if you see in our page list class uh, class you can simply copy from your page or page list the page definitions class okay and then that index class whatever the index class you have created and then just map that uh, source and destinations property that's it okay so whenever you take any actions okay be it's a say like uh, either you are saving or to that page list or deleting or updating the page list it will get updated auto updated and you can do the reporting so that's it for today's class i hope this quick sessions will help you and if you're liking my content please do subscribe okay so thank you thank you very much have a good day